All preparations to receive the body of the late speaker Jacob Locario Lanya at Parliament on Tuesday this week are done. According to the parliamentary program, the body of the deceased speaker will arrive at 9 a.m. and spend the entire night of Wednesday at the foyer of Parliament. All MPs start the two days night vigil at Parliament today with male legislators putting on bow ties, which was a trademark of the late speaker of Parliament, Jacob Lokore Olanya. A tent where MPs will spend the two nights as they mourn has been mounted. Preparations are underway here at Parliament. Besides me, but we also resolved that all MPs would be dressed in the signature of Right Honorable Jacob Bolanya, that's in the black suit and the white shirt and the bow tie, just still to maintain and to mourn the great man that has been our speaker in this house. You have seen the tents are prepared. Like in any other barrier arrangements, in Uganda they say Kukumalumbe. So as parliament tonight, we shall be Kukumalumbe sick here, some members that are at will will be staying here for a night as we wait to receive the body tomorrow. Meanwhile, former Chief Justin Dakaturebe has urged parliamentarians to take on the goals that former Speaker had outlined, including improved debating standards. He made the appeal shortly after signing the condolence book at Parliament. And uh, my message to Parliament, to members of Parliament, to you, Honorable Speaker, Deputy Speaker, and Speaker, is that. The goals that Honorable Olanya had set out about improving the standards of debate in Parliament, about accountability in Parliament, are the things that Parliament should take up and try and live up to. That will be the legacy that he has left behind, which will survive him and be carried forward by Parliament. I think that should be the challenge to members of Parliament and to the administration of Parliament. When he met you, we saw it on TV the first time. He set out and certain goals that he wanted to achieve, that he thinks Parliament should be. And uh, I think we should really try and emulate that and live by that, so that his legacy stays on. Uh, and that way we shall really uh, have kept him alive. Um, people will be talking about him, say, yes, this is what Jacob wanted us to do and we are doing it, and even do it better <laughs> than what he had wanted. I think that's the challenge, uh, to go beyond what he wanted, and you will be happy wherever he is. Bosoga Kingdom Prime Minister Joseph Mowawala signed the condolence book to and delivered the heartfelt message from the Chabazinga of Bosoga. And uh, first and foremost, in that way, Tonda, the Speaker of Parliament, Deputy Speaker, at the end of the day, abaso gamwe na mwana yemuli munsasire ntumiru achabazinga wabusoga ona ko lwa lero okuleta okusasira kwa abusoga yona yona eri parliament yona yona eri ba member ba parliament abatu wagira era baba ni febuli sawa eri family eri president we iwanga oloku virwa ku muganda wa ife the late jacob olanya era nkobere deputy speaker nti jacob olanya Mukulu wa ifu bishop wa moze yale amwe tamutaba ni uwe. Bantu batu no ino wa moze vaye tamutaba ni uwe. Ida wabaliru wa kuungalo. Bantu batu no ino wa moze vaye inga tadere gamu uku. Ono na omu kwa avu. Beyali inga atu wala ngoo mwana mwene mwene. Nensonga lwa chitu hidi wa nolu alero. Niva na angava mpereke hileku. Niva memba wa parlamentu wa avusoga. Okuto omosigini maka ya avusoga. Nga tusasira parlamentu eno na maka. Kati sabe chibumbo omu wa ikendi, omu wa yugu wa mugenza gula mzekisa, elani parlamenti eje maiso, ekole mirimo, ejo jona jona jako bolanya jia endo kola, ngerawa jiko la mongiri jia endo jiko la mongiri. Tuso kusasira elia wana Uganda mwena mwena. Mpegano, ya waga andava singa wakati olusoga, luga andalu menefu menefu. Ndi kusubi ranti ya wanga andaba tege hile kubolo vaire lume nefu. Nda kusaba andaba kuru hila mulu ganda. Kubolo li miru wangeba luteke hila. Sebo speaker wewa li ino wewa li hila. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Tayewa also received a delegation of legislators from the Democratic Republic of Congo who also passed on their condolences on the death of the late speaker, Jacob Olanya. It's been a difficult period for us. But when we receive visitors like yours, like you, we really feel that indeed we are loved and we feel someone is praying for us.